What's up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac is at the local brap spot. It is around 78 degrees. Beautiful day out. It's quiet here. I live, if you look over there, those houses, I live uh, probably about a, a football field, maybe a little bit more away in the middle of that residential. So this is kind of a private I don't want to say private, it's a public park, but it's usually pretty quiet. So, um, doctor's appointment went well. He did, I asked him if he had a cure, because I had a, a fever. He said, well, what's the temperature? Well, I said, usually it's about 200 most of the time, um, or more. Um, he said, really? Wow. You should, you should be dead. And I said, I know, but it's nitro fever, so... <laughs> It doesn't kill you. It only makes you stronger. I think my grandfather used to tell me that. Son, in Spanish he would say mijo, which means, you know, son or little one or whatever. Mijas, girls, mijos, boys. He said, mijo, whatever doesn't kill you, it'll just make you stronger. So anyway, what's up, people? We are going to get ready to rip. We are getting the temps up. I try to get above 150 minimum. We're at 160 right now, so technically I could fire up. I want to get it as warm as possible. These reds, and I will tell you, the good thing about modded motors is once you get them dialed in, finally, um, reds are also another, like, not as much as the Pico, but they can be real finicky and touchy, um, which means they're very sensitive to to the adjustment so you got to make sure that you're making small adjustments now when you look at a watch and when I say five minutes that's like you know five minutes slight turns so for those of you guys that are used to making them 30 minute hour turns two out whatever if you do that on a lot of these Italian motors Novorossi's Pico's Reds you're gonna be going back and forth a lot man and getting frustrated make small increments now the last time we ran this, I believe was out in the street. I just, I haven't been, I've been running in front of my pad. I need to get, you know, these things out in the open. I picked the reds for, because I haven't ran it in a long time. And I haven't ran any modded motors whatsoever in this, the Techno. This is the Techno NB, which stands for Nitro Buggy 48.4. And if you're no, if you guys are wondering, some of you that know or don't know, the 40, uh, you know, 48.3, 48.4, that's the measurement from the front to the back. <laughs> I didn't even know that until not too long ago. I measured it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's why they, they, they say that. So actually, the, the buggy is a little bit, the, the newer, not the 2.0, but the 4.48.4 uh, is obviously a tad bigger than the NT, the, the truggy that I have and some of you have. Woogie has one and there's other guys. Um, this 48.4 compared to the 48.3 is a little bit longer. Um, it's not as thin, obviously, if you've seen the chassis. By the way, I have my uh, Sumo skid plates on here. So those are all ready to go. The only thing I haven't done is done a carbon fiber uh, chassis wrap on it, which I, I'm going to do because that bottom of that chassis is still pretty fresh so anyway we're going to do some ripping hopefully uh, we don't have any major issues as long as i don't blow anything up or you know fry any servos or you know if i, I don't have extra servos with me maybe i should start bringing those too you never know <laughs> but i've had pretty good luck with these uh protect the uh the 100 t's um and the 100 i run the 100 t in the front for uh steering because it's a little bit quicker not as torquey as the 100S, but the torquier one, because of your braking a lot and there's more stress on the servo, I use that, the 100S, for the uh, throttle servo. So anyway, I use this little 12-volt battery. Be careful. I know people have had pa in the past, I know Woogie had a problem with his dynamite. The first Sky RC head warmer, which is the cheaper one, it's only like, it's less than 30 bucks. The first one I had for a couple years, and then it finally, the material just deteriorated. And as you, you know, get, got to warm it, it just came apart. The second one lasted like two minutes. I mean, that thing literally caught on fire. I sent it back. So far, this one's been doing good. 
Um, they say you can run a 12 volt battery, so I'm starting to think that maybe the battery's too hot. If you run lipos on these things, you guys connect the lipo to it, just be careful with them, watch them. Um, I like to put a rag over mine just to get it extra, extra warm. Um, like I said, we're about 260. Uh, we're about two, we're 272 right now, so I can, I'm going to go ahead and fire up. We're going to get her dialed in. Like I was saying about modified um, motors, once you get them dialed in and, and tuned, they pretty much, you don't have to fuss with them a lot, especially the reds. Uh, once it's dialed in and everything's set up as far as your low end and stuff, sometimes you might have to, you know, compensate for the barometer change or, or the weather. It's only, like I said, not even 80 out. I mean, let's just say it's 80, but it's really nice out. It's quiet this time of day, so I don't got people jogging on these dirt trails. Uh, if you look at the grass, it looks like they mowed it, which is cool because for buggies, when the grass is thick, man, they bog on that shit. Chuggy, not a big deal. My chuggies with my modified motors, man, they just... They mow the lawn out here. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of gopher holes. A lot of these landmines. So i got to kind of be careful because I've been hauling ass and you'll hit one of these. And it's like hitting a speed bump, man. You just go flying. But uh, we'll see what happens. Just a couple days ago, I came up here and the grass was really high. So I'm glad they did cut it. <laughs> um, I have those fugitives. They're brand new. They're basically for racetracks. They're extra tires that I got with it. Um, I'm going to get some, I have these AK, or these are, uh, AKAs, no, these are JT, uh, or, yeah, uh, JT, or not JT, JC, or J Concept, I keep wanting to say JC Concept, J Concepts, um, tires, um, with, uh, they're kind of a knockoff Badlands, I, I think these are more of like a, if you guys know what BF Goodrich all-terrain tires are like, that's what those are like, so, I brought them just in case I'm not getting hooked up, this gravel over here, I run in this stuff, it's cool to do some speed runs, come flying down here, but when the power band kicks in, because it's real loose, it's hard to stay straight, man, this, anything that I run down here, stock, modded, I mean, look at this stuff, it just gets loose, and this is where you want there you don't want a vented clutch bell because you know you've heard the argument is what's better vented clutch bell does it run cooler but all i know is when you have vented clutch bells you're more likely to get little rocks and shit like this lodged in there and, and a lot of times i'll get shit like this lodged in the uh in in the center diff and the, the center spur and it'll you know when that stuff gets um disrupted your shit will will, will stall out and you'll think you've got a a freaking uh um a flame out but it's just something getting caught in there so anyway i think we should be pretty good i checked everything over everything i always do what i call a muggy 10 point inspection before i fire my shit up you know make sure that i'm not going to have any issues or or anything's going to come loose i think i've learned and still learn you know just to lock tight everything i don't even care if it's in plastic so anyway let's fire this up we're running the mt4 sanwa um i have my I don't run switches, you guys know that. Had too many issues with them. If you guys are running switches and you ever had problems, hey, to each his own, do what you want. I run an external plug that's plugged in there so I can just plug it in and unplug it. So I don't have to lift, uh, open up the, the little cover now. So anyway, let's fire this thing up. And I got a 30, the, the, the flywheel on this that's on here, it's a three shoe Buku, I mean, a Buku clutch, but it's got the Max Life uh, three shoe clutches on here, which I recommend if you're going to run a three shoe. I normally run varies in the buggies. All my truggies I usually only run uh, unless I just can't four shoe. Buggies, they work really well with three shoes too, depending on how you got it set up. So it's all about your setup. So anyway, I have to press down on this really hard um, because the flywheel's smaller. It's not quite 34 millimeters. So anyway, let's fire her up. <laughs> Get it nice and warm up. These reds really don't wake up till you're around 250 or more. So I'm sure I'm going to run a tank or two through before it gets really warm. But she sounds nasty to me. RB modded by Rick Rake.
This thing's got uh, about, I'd say about maybe two and a half gallons through it, if that. It's got over two gallons through it, so its balls are dropped. See if I can get an idle going. It's probably still cold. Try to heat it up a little bit more. Man, it dropped. It dropped. I'm turning the heat warmer off. This thing dropped. From 170 to 130. It's really, it's kind of a cool breeze out, so it's really not that warm. Anyway, let's rip her around, let her get warmed up, see if we can get her dialed in, get a nice idle, nice tune. Then we'll do the Mr. Crotic test on her. See where the low end's at, the, the uh, low speed needle's at. Good to me. I did a little box tune before I started filming, uh, but I really didn't adjust much. a little bit lower but I don't know it might drop down a little bit more it's still probably not not that warm let me go check I'll get my tap back <laughs>
Oh, dang it! Get those damn dirt piles!
think the idol's flying. You know the muggy's OCD kicks in when it's flying and I I want it better. OCD perfectionist. Oh snap. Load it up. Are we even at 200 yet? One ninety six. All right, let's go in the dirt now. <laughs> Enough of the grass. <laughs> Hear that sound when you punch it and let off it? Listen. Hear that? That's that's when your tune's pretty pretty dialed. Oops. All right, people. I don't know how long my videos. I got to clean out some of my phone. I mean, this new phone. I packed it already. So if it cuts off, forgive me. But we should be good. likes to get sideways in the dirt, man. You guys gonna just see a dirt trail.
Well, that means I ain't as dialed as I thought it was. Okay. Well, guess what we're doing tonight? Cleaning, people. <laughs> OCD style. All right, people, that's about 30 minutes. Well, I'm probably going to burn a couple more tanks. She's going to get a little bit more dirty. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get my pal, he, he does, uh, one of my friends does uh, drywall construction stuff. I said, hey, man, can you build me something? Some kind of little ramp, anything. Muggy's got to get some air. So, um, I don't know, maybe, I'm not saying, I don't know this week, but hopefully in the next couple weeks, um, don't quote me on this, but we'll be able to get something out to Revelations out in Ontario. Who knows, maybe we might run into Adam out there, that'd be badass. Film Adam uh, giving me some tips on uh, how to run on a track. And they said I can bring modified, as long as I'm set up like, you know, uh, race tires, truggy buggy, I can put a modded 28 in there, but from what I hear, that's pretty hard to keep keep on the track. <laughs> I think the point .21 modded, either this or the OS would be hard enough, so. All right, people, that's all I got. You know, um, <laughs> oops. Oh, she idled long, but not too long. Anyway. Fire up some more. 
she should be up to temp by now. Now I can start messing with the needles. But I just think my, uh, remember you got to compensate one for the other. Idle a little bit. If she idles longer than thirty seconds, you're good. But you know me, I'm I'm OCD, so damn camera. It's kind of windy out. Boy, this thing cools down so quick, man. It's crazy. Uh, where's my temp gun? Let's see where we're at right now. Dang, man, look at that. We went from like oh, a little bit over 200, around 200. Look, that quick. I mean, the weather's cold, man. These things set for one minute, and they're already cold again. So, um, what the hell did I do with my, um, glow igniter? Dang it. Anyway. Right here. Uh, uh. I see that? I got a brand new set of drivetrains. They ship here today. These ones aren't, they're crooked. They're not bad. I straightened them, but if you look at them closely, they got wobble. Especially the right one. So that one's real okay, I think. Man, you guys, can you smell that? Oh, nothing like the smell of nitro, man. Especially Byron. That thing smells like Byron's 3011. I don't know. I understand people's gripes, but I'm not getting held hostage by nobody or, you know, for prices. I know a lot of people, dozens of people, uh, that get Byron's for pretty reasonable. So I don't know what's going on in the state of Texas. I mean, all that fuel in Texas, man, you guys should be getting any fuel. I don't give a shit, excuse my language, if it's nitro. All your fuel should be cheap. I don't care where it's coming from. You guys need to produce that shit. Come on. Hey, Woogie, talk to somebody over there. Over there in Texas, man. Family affair. Nitro, nitro knucklehead. Try, talk to them Texans, man. You guys have... 80% of the fuel that's in the country, is in this country anyway. <laughs> you guys shouldn't have no problems with fuel. I don't give a dang if it's Byron. I mean, we're over here on the West Coast. We're paying crazy gas prices. A dollar more than what you guys pay. And I know because I live there. One of, the, one of the only things that I miss about Texas. I mean a lot of things, but one of the things I miss about Texas... Cost of living, man. San Antonio still, I think if you Google it, is one of the top three cities in the country cheapest to live. That's why I hung out there for a minute. Even through all that crappy weather craziness over there. She sounds healthy. And dirty. Dirty and fat. It's gonna need the muggy spa treatment. Big time. What you're, what, what you're 
shit's supposed, excuse my language again, when you know what your shit's supposed to sound like, you know what it sounds like. When you pin the throttle, when you give it some, some full throttle, hear that sound? No Chewbacca, it's not running on. It has that It has this distinct sound, man. I know what my shit sounds like. I mean, it's probably not perfectly tuned because I don't think there's any such thing, like I said. You know, but I want it to be perfectly tuned, but that ain't gonna happen. Watch the back end. See that? That's my sway bar. That's why it flips sometimes. My sway bars aren't dialed in. I know it. Cause your back, your front, your your rear tire shouldn't lift like that. You guys see that? Or, I don't know. I'm in your way. Here, watch. Watch this. You'll watch the rear tire when I turn sharp. See that? See how the back tire lifts? It shouldn't. It should stay flat. It's because my sway bars aren't dialed in. So. You guys seen about as much as you're gonna see out of me, people. There's a good 40 minutes of, of some brap session. Techno NB 48.4. First time modded RB modded Reds R5 Team Edition 9886 Novarossi pipe 41032 header. She's brapping. I think I said, did I say I had a 14 on here? There's a 13 on here, man. I, I, I need to put a 14. I can run a 14 on mods, you know, because 13 is more if you're just running bone stock 21s. It, I, I need another gear top end. It seems like it, it wants to pull more, but anyway, maybe even throw a 15 in it. Hell. All right, people. Catch you guys back at the cave. Back for the wrap-up edition. Overview. Thoughts. Concerns. Uh, again, shout-out to all those that are, that are out there. Getting ready to bear the cold weather. Um, by the way, just so you guys know, if anybody's interested in a clean, pretty much brand new uh, R5R Reds point twenty one, badass. I don't think it's modded; it's stock. I'll get you the price on it. It's killer, killer condition, well maintained, well taken care of by one of our Nitro brothers. Um, hit me up. Well, I mean, I'll tell you his name. It's Drew. Hit Drew up, people. Drew's got a badass red. He hit me up on I said, bro, I already got two. <laughs> and at probably what he wants for it, I, I wouldn't pay that. I've never paid more than 200 bucks for, any of my, for either one of my reds, and I don't plan on it. As bad as they are. They're fun, they're cool, but I mean, even this modified, man, I, I'm already getting bored. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna probably run, uh, you know, I am probably gonna run the, uh, the Mugen MBX-8 with the modded OS, but I don't know. Before that, I gotta take a break from the pea shooters. They're badass, they're awesome, great for racing. I recommend if you're gonna get a Point 21 and you got a little bit of experience, you gotta get a modded one. If you've never had a modded Point 21, 
just get a quality modded one, all right? Whether it's a high-end OS, high-end reds, decent reds, whatever, all reds are great. Uh, no velocity. Only one other 21 that, I, that I'm going to add to my collection because I've already got, you know, a, a half a dozen or more now is a works. Why? Because it's Italian and you know the muggy. Italian motors, Italian pipes, even Italian clutches, although some are kind of pricey, but anyway, they're badass. And Byron's 3011. Or nothing. Any questions? Peace out.